8.31 in the morning time on this Wednesday morning, April the 2nd, 2014 on a Wednesday morning. Time now for the word issue PJ, which is the more important. Wednesday morning, Ma April 2nd, 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good morning to you all this lovely Wednesday morning. Our congregation is at... 8.31 a.m. in North Massachusetts, it's 36 degrees, our temperature 86 is the humidity, fair skies, wind speed is cop parameter, 3.11 inches, 2.5, 32 degrees, visible 8, 10 miles. Let's take a look at our radar scope, shows fleet and snow showers from western and central portions of Nova Scotia, rain, fleet and snow showers off the central and southeastern portions of the Prince Edward Island, a lot of snow showers in central portions of Quebec, Blobs of snow showers in northeastern portions of Ontario, seven, central portions of Ontario. Light of rain showers from Pennsylvania, Northern Maryland, and searching out for central Ohio, down for seven Indiana, for southeastern portions of Illinois, and and a big blob of rain showers and thunderstorms from much of Missouri, and search out in northern Arkansas, down for central Arkansas, northern portions of Mississippi, down for southwestern portions of Tennessee, and will. And. There are some thunderstorms around the Kansas City area here. There is some possible damage in winds from Powell and Search and Dive Harrisville. Powell, Kansas and Search and Dive Harrisville. <laughs> Powell Hill detected from Bonneville and it's going to be in from Mexico, Missouri and out of Hanwell, Missouri. And there's another cell with possible damage in winds and ale Columbia, Missouri and Search and Dive Fulton and Dive Mexico. <coughs> and a line of snow shots from Northern Nebraska, stretching out of several western portions of South Dakota, and stretching out for western portions of Colorado, and east central portions of Utah, stretching out of the Wyoming, and for south central portions of Montana, and north central portions of Montana. Snow shots of south central, north central portions of Utah, and for seven. I'd hold down for northern portions of Nevada and western and eastern portions of Idaho, west central portions of Mex Montana. Snow shards in the east, two portions of British Columbia, south central portions of Alberta, west central portions of Saskatchewan, southwest portions of Saskatchewan, west central portions of Manitoba. Snow and sleet shards in the Sierra of California, rain shards in the northern and down the coast of California, from San Francisco to up to Los Angeles, down to San Diego, to down to California, Mexico. Austin, Nevada. Good morning. 28 degrees. We close guys here. All right. Let's take a look at our satellite loop here. And shows. A couple of bags of clouds from western portions of New England and Connecticut and stretching it down to the eastern New York and Pennsylvania and stretching it down to our valley and the central Mississippi Valley and stretching it down to the the plains of the Dakota that are down to the Pacific North and down to the Rockies and down to Northern Nevada and down to California. And a batch of clouds from British coming in down to Alberta and down to central Saskatchewan and down to Manitoba. Never batch of clouds from Quebec that are down to Ontario and stretching it down to in the James Bay in Canada. Let's take a look at our map situation. Cold front from North Central Alberta, switch it up in Saskatchewan. Warm front from Western Alberta, switch it up for Montana, switch it up for Wyoming, and down for Colorado, down for Mexico, and a warm front from Northern Texas, switch it up for Oklahoma, and down Arkansas, and station front down for Tennessee. Cold front from Virginia, switch it up to the Middle East Coast, and down for Eastern New York. So turn it up and down, turn it go back. Yeah. High pressure centered in southern Manitoba, off the Florida coast. Low pressure in over Mexico, west eastern western western Texas, southern Nevada, and off the California coastline. For the from western Texas, for the from southern Nevada, and for eastern California, and for the off the California coastline. We got 43 degrees on Texas, Boston, it's 47 out in Washington D.C., 56 out in Atlanta, 60 out in Miami. Pair 72 is in Dallas, Texas and Bradsville, Texas. 43 in Kansas City. 34 in Chicago, Illinois. 21 in Minneapolis. 29 in Great Falls, Montana. 27 in Denver. 3 in Salt Lake City. 41 in Albuquerque. 44 in Seattle. 48 in San Francisco. 52 in Los Angeles. All right, let's take a look at our radar. Let's take a look at our current conditions. They are around the region. 43 degrees outside of Boston. It's 36 in Fitchburg. 34 in 
Bedford Gloucester, 37 in Bentley, 36 in Tottenham, to the Bedford, and out of the Norwood, 39 out in. Province Town, and in. Chatham, and Cape Cod Bay, 3 in Nantucket, 41 in Marfa's Venue, 37 in. Black Island, 34 in Wesley, 39 in. Spitfield, 32 in Webster, 28 in. Sturbridge, 35 in. Socket, and in. Milford, 38 in. Worcester, 31 in. Gardner, 32 in Greenfield. Parrot 34 is in Amherst and Springfield, 33 in Pittsfield, 37 in North Adams, 40 in Albany, 42 in Bennington, 32 in Keene, Hampshire, 31 in Concord, Hampshire, 34 in Manchester, and Nashua, Hampshire, 35 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 38 at the Bay of New Hampshire, 34 in Winslock, 33 in Hartford, 33 in Meriden, 36 in Waterbury, 39 in Danbury, 38 in B Port Connecticut, 34 in New Haven, Connecticut, 41 in Islip, 43 in New York City, and 38 in Montauk. Was running a, a homeless dinner on Wednesday night. All right, let's take a look at our short range public discussion here. There will be a slight risk of severe thunderstorms over the parts of the middle of Lower Mississippi Valley and Central Several Plains. Heavy rain possible across portions of the middle of Lower Mississippi Valley and the Nora Valleys. A east west part will develop across the middle Atlantic westward to the Central Several Plains for Thursday evening in the Bush of Florida. Not for now, the Gulf of Mexico will overrun the boundary, producing showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the Central Plains and the middle of Mississippi Valley that will expand southward into the Southern Plains and Lower Mississippi Valley by Wednesday evening. Moving in the middle of Lower Mississippi Valley and Central Gulf Coast by Thursday. Rain will develop over parts of the Nora Valley and will expand eastward to the middle Atlantic by Thursday evening. The meanwhile, front over the Northern Central Rockies will move into the middle of Mississippi Valley by Thursday. The Central will produce snow over parts of the Northern Central Rockies and parts of the Pacific Northwest will expand to the Northern Plains Central by Wednesday evening along the Southern Rockies. And additionally, rain will develop over parts of the Central Plains by Wednesday evening and Thursday. Snow will move into the Upper Midwest. Patches rain, freeze rain over the parts of the Indy. Upper Great Lakes, the snow over the Central Rockies will taper off. By Thursday evening. Amazing boxing at the beginning. Elsewhere, onshore for a little aid producer rain and outer elevation snow over parts of the central southern California on Wednesday morning. In addition, an approaching front over the eastern Pacific will begin to produce coastal rain and higher elevation snow over the parts of the Pacific Northwest on Thursday. Alright, let's take a look at our forecast discussion in New England here. High pressure will allow dry weather and seasonal temperatures to remain through Thursday. The lower pressure will give us a period of mainly rain Friday night into Saturday morning before a dry weekend takes over from Saturday afternoon to early Monday. I never a low pressure system may bring some more rain sometime late Monday to choose a self out of Red Sox. Hoping up to get some Milwaukee Brewers on Friday at Fenway for the home opener. It's going to be fine here. We're going to get just rain Friday night into Saturday morning. Near term until 6 p.m. this evening, 7 30 of update. Only minor tweaks and sporting to bring the forecast back to the line with observed trends here. I finish a song and then I have to do a quick change to do the final fight. And while I'm changing, I'm telling my dresser, Keith, who actually works here as well. He does work. Uh, he, uh, I, I, like, he dresses Savannah with a shy girl. She doesn't have to fight, but he's throwing, you know, uh, gloves on me and we're getting ready to do this. And it's, it's almost like I have to start a new show every time I get to that brand. Everybody okay. They're talking about the whole show, but the last 15, 20 minutes, they say, it is an experience that nobody has ever Ooh. had on Broadway before. Is there any part of it you can share with us without giving too much away? Sure. This is the... Everything. I mean, as far as... You, you'll be able to see something that you've never seen before. This okay. Show, and I've been told that over and over again. This is... The storm prediction center to be a slight risk of some severe weather, severe storms, damage to winds, and actually a tornado from northern Texas, northern Louisiana, down from Arkansas, Missouri, western Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, and down from eastern Kansas, and Oklahoma. Things wrapped in round one. People are screaming, they're standing up. It's like an the spectrum and Billy. And Margo, if this goes for a long time and you're lucky enough to be with this show for a long time, do you have any idea how many people on the street are going to walk up to you and go, are you all awake? <laughs> and a cold March, but the <coughs> warm winds out today. Air as Boston. March average 33.5 tied for 1956 and 1876. Providence 34.0 tied for for 12 with 1941. Hartford, Bradley Airport, 31.2 10 for 5th with 1940 and 20.3, fifth coldest today. And warm for that day, enjoy this day. 50s. Spring light temperatures for much of the region for today, yeah?
All wood table and six chairs. Only three ninety nine every day. With a twelve inch leaf. In your choice of a forty eight seven on the close boss about to be fifty five for Worcester, fifty nine for Hartford, sixty one for New York, fifty five at Albany, forty eight for Rutland, fifty in Concord, and forty one up in Portland. Oh my! It's gonna be a mild, mild, a spring like Dan tap. Okay, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast that goes like this. May 29th, under the big time. Oh. Tickets have saved to Soleil. Let's take a look at the Hazardous Island here. You day one day tonight. Pockets of river flooded will continue today, although all waterways will have crested by this morning. I fear the larger rivers will likely remain flooded until late this week. Here today, local studies regard closed roads and roof flooded. Two feet of fast river water is enough to float most vehicles. Turn around, don't drown. And days two for seven, Thursday for Tuesday. No has the weather expected them to stop. Okay, let us take a look at our seven day forecast goes like this. For today, most of the sky is out of 58 degrees. Today, most of the sky north 34 degrees. Thursday, Saturday sky is out of 56 degrees. Thursday night, most of the sky is with a lower 34 degrees. Friday, Hot set guys, high at 48 degrees, fire rate, rain, low rate 37 degrees, chest rate 80%. Saturday, rain luckily, high at 60 degrees, chest rate 60%. Sorry, yeah, podcast got low 37 degrees, and for Sunday, size guys high at 52 degrees. Sorry, yeah, most of the coast got low 34 degrees. Monday, chest rate, podcast got low 33 degrees, chest of preparation 30%. Why not? Chance of rain. Most cars got low 39 degrees. Chance of inspiration is 50%. After Tuesday, chance of rain. Most cars got higher 54 degrees. Chance of inspiration is 30%. Intellectual disabilities. Also, you have to finish. Peter's, what a phrase of the day. Sunny and a winner on a Wednesday. Beautiful weather on town. This is PJ Wednesday. Be a good day with a good positive energy. Enjoy the sunshine here. <laughs>